Hi there folks, this is my uh, trip from yesterday I did a solo scramble of James Walker mountain in Karnaskis Initially my plan was to scramble the pace this way as in uh, Andrew Nogara's more scrambles in the Canadian Rockies. However, the slab was wet. There was some water pouring down along and uh, my uh, Salomon Alpine mountain running approach shoes uh, were not a good option for it. That's what I had on. So then uh, I decided to give up on this and just follow the what it is the return route for James Walker. <coughs> So I took this left uh, line, I intersected actually this uh, scrambling route on a ridge and from there was very close to the summit, that's a nice video coming up. Yeah, the trail is very well marked. The first section is a winter s snowshoeing trail and uh, from higher up it's very well marked by ribbons and cairns. Even myself, I, I did that a few years back. <clears throat> I don't know if they are the same or not, but it's really good, really well marked. It was an awesome trip. I saw some uh, foul birds like Tarngan and hen, mountain hen. A few times actually I saw groups of Tarmigans. There are some nice lakes here. Of course, in these Google Earths are not visible because it's a uh, photo is taken with snow, I believe. There was just a short section of snow on my trip, avoidable. It was nice to reach the summit after uh, my attempt, my last trip from the beginning of the week, of last week actually. You can watch uh, that video as well. This should be it for the intro. I don't uh, spend any more time here. So please enjoy. So I'm sure some mountains, the wedge. I will be zooming on them.
trailhead for this trip is a sawmill parking lot. Very big space there. It was a <coughs> mountain hen. I'm on uh, Mount James Walker approach trail in Karanaskis. Almost 1 p.m. Uh, but uh, I don't regret starting late because it was raining, a few showers on the way here, so even when I arrived here it might happen again hopefully not it's pretty nice right now it's supposed to be, I don't know, maybe 12 km and 1200 meters elevation gain I've been on this trail before summer and winter, so I won't be filming as much Pond and Mount James Walker, it's, it's I believe, uh, South Face, which is crumbable. I could even attempt to scramble the face today, but uh, my, uh, my Salomon approach, mountain running uh, shoes, as I uh, tested, uh, they're not ideal for slab, actually, hmm, yeah, it shouldn't be slab over there. So, uh, I might even uh, climb the face, yeah, instead of going around to the right, where is a normal scree trail. I'll take a decision once I get there. I'll probably do it. Ascending on this slope, but this water is very annoying, so uh, it makes my, uh, my I have to avoid the wet areas. Therefore, uh, I have to minimize. The available slab and my uh, Salomon are not very good for uh, for this kind of uh, slab, unfortunately. <coughs> Even though it's only a short section, 
I guess I'll just have to go go around to the left via the hiking trail instead. I don't even have a helmet. I forgot to bring it. No ice socks, nothing. Yeah, I can't take uh, any chances. I got about uh, 450 vertical to the summit along uh, this gully now. Just a slog. Summit of uh, Mount James Walker. 3033. This is the registry here, I might sign it if I have time. For now, uh, time to take the usual summit panorama. Looking at the Fortress Ski Resort. to move a little bit further but right now I'm gonna film when the sun is in the clouds towards uh, Mount Assiniboine in that direction uh, westwardly and southwest and when the sun comes out I'm going to continue well I'm not gonna wait but got the idea Try to zoom a little. Yes, oddly enough, uh, <coughs> I joined the ascent uh, at some point from uh, that is done from uh, the scramble the one I attempted previously, instead of uh, merging with the uh, return route, which is a hike on a scree. It's quite good, so... I had no problems with it. Mount Joffre, zoom in. Probably too late in the day to have any climbers on it. They'll be down by now. So there's no point zooming. So yeah, that's uh, that's the way I came. I reached the ridge at the call there. I zigzag from there uh, down down at the snow. And I was always uh, on a ride from the return trip and I only intersect it now. Highway 40 
Femiro Peaks. Nice to have uh, to look at the mountains from a different angle. It's always nice. Oh yeah, the most prominent peak is uh, <clears throat> this on uh, the wedge. But uh, I also have Fisher Peak, I'm gonna zoom on it in a bit. Yeah, that's Fisher Peak. The Ascent Gully is visible, the one I climbed along. Thus avoiding the three down climbs, very difficult and it's loose cliffs and exposed. What else is here? <clears throat> Looking kind of nordish now. Spoon needle. Yeah, the sun, uh, sun is up. Mount Fortress in a view. I have the playlist, and then on uh, its left is Gusty Peak. And uh, taller than it, it's uh, Mount the Tower, and behind is Galatea, which I haven't climbed. And also behind Fort is a tall one, must be Old Goat Mountain, back to Assiniboine. But uh, you know, with this darkness uh, at this time, I, have to I think it's 8 o'clock. It's not uh, the best lighting in that direction. Yeah, this valley down here is not very interesting. So yeah, I shall uh, conclude here. Uh, I'm gonna do another fast 360 without zooming. And then uh, take pictures with my phone and I'm descending. Yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching, folks. Adrian signing out from the summit of Mount James Walker in Karanaskis. Cheers.
and termigans. It's a mount inflexible and uh, the ridge towards Mount Lawson. And I said,